what is going on boys and girls of youtube <laughs> so today i'm gonna go over a quick little i guess dream hack video and we're gonna try to pinpoint the good and the bad of all the teams who i think is gonna win um and who's gonna take dream hack pretty much that simple i've already started this on stream i didn't realize i was saving it so for game one it's dignitas versus space station if you guys don't know, Dignitas is pretty much the best team in Europe as of now, or at least going into Worlds, they're supposed to be the best team in Europe. So based off of that, you'd probably be picking them anyway. And then you've got Space Station, who was the third seed going into the qualification land, which just happened last weekend. And overall, um, we know more about the Space Station performance than the Dig performance going into this, kind of what we expect. So Space Station really didn't, play well at this land they had two stomp sets but they were easier sets for them they played against the european sml team with a sub their uh support got banned sadly he did he yes three day banned, so he couldn't play at the land um so they won that game they had another easier game and then they lost a set to rival i believe they got kind of stomped by rival in my opinion the games were not uh, i mean all right stomp might be the wrong word when Rival won, they won very, very heavily. Like, it was very much in their favor. So based on that, number three Space Station coming out of NA versus number three Rival out of EU, the games were not the greatest games, so we can't expect a lot of a Space Station. They lost Baskin. They lost their best player. I'm not expecting much out of them. Dignitas, on the other hand, amazing online team. Always, the players on the team have always been very good, but at land, they've been known to underperform. Will they underperform, choke, or not? We don't know. But no matter what, I have to go with Dig just based off of Space Station not looking hot, not looking the best, lost their best player. Dig coming into this looking good, assuming this is going to be the year they don't fucking choke. Game two, we have Splice versus Obey. Splice throughout the year had a rocky start, did a boot camp where all five of them went and played together for like a month or so. Uh, it's kind of an estimate. Could have been longer, could have been shorter. But they got a lot better. They swapped out their mid, who was the best, picked up Moswall, and things turned around for them amazingly. Their second seed in NA, they're fucking killing it. They have their own picks. They play a really aggressive meta. If they can bring that meta into land, I expect them to win a lot of games because the land meta is always slowed down. If they can speed it up, and play in a way other people aren't used to on land, especially with all these teams coming, Obey specifically, coming off this last land that was played a lot slower. Splice will win. Obey, on the other hand, had a really good land, performed really well. The team looked strong. Pretty Prime made it to land, killed it. Uh, very, very strong team. I still have Splice winning this set. I don't think Obey loses and gets stomped. I don't think that happens. Third set is United versus Trifecta. Trifecta barely made it into World. They did make it. Uh, Sanford Soccer fucking popped off their jungler, killed it all goddamn week, week, weekend, week and weekend, because we started on like a Monday or some shit. Sam killed it at the last land, the land that was last weekend and last week. Killed it. Star player of their team. Paul, the other newer player on the team, newer player to the SPL, killed it. Didn't do as well as Sam, in my opinion. Did pop off in some of the games, carried some of the games, but Sam overall looked insane. If Sam can keep playing the way he was, they'll compete. I don't think they'll win. I think they will compete in matches, but Sam will have to be playing perfectly. I don't think he plays the way he did last week. I don't think it's, I think it's very unlikely that he will play that well again, that good, whatever. He, I don't think he'll be doing as well. So, Trifecta definitely losing. E United, best team in NA, top record, insane team, won Worlds last year. Going into this hungry, I really do think E United goes at least to the final. I think they should go to the final based on other circumstances, which we'll get into in a second. So E United wins this set. Fourth set of the day is going to be Energy versus Rival. Energy is the number two seed in EU. Rival is the number three seed in EU. Interesting that these guys matched up. But we'll take it. <laughs> so Energy's mid laner, Yemen. Uh, MVP, two-time world champion. This team has won worlds twice with a slightly different roster. Isn't going to be there. Played all year, killed it. Uh, is having some mental health issues, which sucks. He's going, he's dealing with it, staying home, decided to sit out of Worlds. So they're out there mid laner. They are picking up Homofe, who was the jungler for CLG 
this year. He he got kicked off the team or left the team a couple months ago, but he was on CLG for like six months. Professional jungler. Really good player. Um, he swapped over and played a lot of roles pretty much forever. I think he's been playing a lot of mid, and he will be filling in for Yamin in mid. How is that possible? He is the coach slash sub, so he'll be subbing in. You're allowed to be out of region if you are the coach or sub. He is out of region. He is an A, playing for an EU team, but he will be the mid laner at Worlds for energy. Rival killed it at LAN. They're an amazing LAN team. Their online split wasn't that hot, but they're known to not perform online and then play very, very well at LAN. They start off rocky this LAN that was last week, but then they turned it around real quick, killed it, dumpstered, really strong team. So, that being said, this is probably the hardest to determine match because we don't know what the fuck Homa Faye is going to do. We don't know how Energy is going to play with a new mid laner. They could, it, nothing could change. They could be the insane team that they've always been. We don't know. With Rival being as good of a team as we know, able to strategize, able to play their game on land, I have to go with Rival. I would like to see Energy win. Energy is my like um, perfect scenario. Like if Energy wins, it would be the most hype thing ever because Adapting would then have to be crowned as the greatest player to ever play Smite. He would have to be. To have a third championship with a mid laner coming in that's not from region, who really has no practice with you, if he's able to win this world, I don't care if he's the one who pops off, if Emilito pops off, whoever pops off, I don't care. He has to be crowned as the greatest player. Has to be. But I'm going to go with Rival for the set. And then it comes down to, I don't know who will play after that. I don't know if it's set one versus two or three versus four. This is why this is going to be kind of hard. I kind of wish there was more information here. And it said, like, match one, match two. Um, let's say, based on these, you're going to have Dig versus Splice, which would be weird because those are both, yeah, yeah, Dig versus Splice, E United versus Rival as your semifinals. I would go with Splice beating Dig. <sighs> this is fucking hard, man. <sighs> Fuck. This is hard. I'm going to go with Dignitas beating Splice. I think Dignitas shows up this land. Dignitas beats Splice, if this is the matchup here. And E United beats Rival, if this is the matchup here. I think this game would be insanely close. I think this game would be insanely close. So that would lead into our finals being E United versus Dignitas. If it comes down to that, E United wins. If that, I don't know if this is the right way it could even play out. It might be Splice versus Rival, E United versus Dignitas. That doesn't make sense. These are both one seeds. I feel like they can't play each other. So assuming my other way is right, it'll be E United versus Dignitas in the finals. E United doesn't win. They get back-to-back -back championships. They start competing with Energy as one of the best teams of all time. They're insanely good. They're practiced. They're going to be ready for a high-pressure meta. They might even be playing the high-pressure meta. They can slow down the game and play the game at a slower pace like the European teams do. I think E United wins the whole thing. Obviously, that's the easier choice, but just with the circumstances everyone's under, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, any team could technically win this. At, at, like All of these teams could technically win. I think Space Station and Trifecta are the least likely to come out with a win. Like Probably slaughter games. I think this should be a slaughter game. This might be closer, but it shouldn't be. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going with for the, the week. The, the world champion. The SWC dream hack. Um, it's going to be interesting. I think these games are going to be extremely exciting sucks because i'm gonna miss a lot of friday's games uh, i fly in on friday night if you guys are gonna be there make sure you go to battle and brew friday night is the gamer bar i'll be doing like a meet and greet thing with all the other streamers they have food they have video games computers everything you can pretty much play whatever the fuck you want and they have drinks so it's gonna be a good time uh look for me on saturday at the venue look for me on sunday at the venue and then look for me at the after party on sunday because i will be there for all of that Hopefully this makes you understand or helps you understand a little bit more of what's going on with the SPL, with Worlds ending. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of announcements apparently about Smite and about the SPL for next year, which is going to be super exciting. I will see you all when I get back on Tuesday. I'll see you Tuesday night with the stream. There will be regular YouTube videos all weekend while I'm gone. I am still here until Friday, like I said. So look for normal content until then. Look for my stream. And uh, I will see you guys in the YouTube video later tonight. Have a good night, guys.